Absolutely close. Absolutely close. No question about the D. No question about the D. Uh, the public company. I got there late evening. Maybe the three people. They were not happy with what uh, what has happened. We talked about the fire uh, inspection. Thirty-five dollars for hundred thirty-five. Another one talked about a business property uh, saying, oh, I hope you guys aren't going to raise those uh, taxes. Uh, he mentioned his, uh, his at the only tax that he, he has. Is he's afraid what might happen. And, and that just happens to be free, one note. And then, uh, <coughs> it may be too quick to go to January. But I think we need to have that knowledge and information to us as quickly as possible so that we know what type of timing could play, take place successfully with this. Uh, as you say, there is a need, but we don't really have the specifics of how quickly or how slowly we need to do some of this work. offer a little bit of a comment on that. We are already in our program in a position where we have too many students. So we, we may not have out, uh, outlined specifically that would be one of the part of the next steps, but we need to do some things now. We just don't have the capital. We just don't have the money. And some of those photos are representative examples of areas that have not existed. Please take these various rates, and uh, as you just mentioned, that we don't know what they are between some of the very, I think the smallest ones are very 75 cents a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're looking at 230 a month for an equivalent uh, residential unit. Uh, and that's at a level of 123 per year. That might be too high to start. Basically, that represents, yeah, basically that represents $32 a year for a uh, single family uh, residence. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there are other numbers there. That's why I'm going through this journey. We can continue, you know, to uh, look at these numbers from multiple different perspectives, uh, Jerry. And certainly there's no question about it that uh, there are uh, economic conditions and considerations. But as Brett said, there are also needs that are going to have to be met in some form. So I think this process is providing us with an opportunity to look at a methodology or a strategy to be able to meet our responsibilities and our obligations, uh, and at the same time, too, find the uh, minimal, uh, the methodology that would have the minimal impact on uh, our single family uh, residents, and you know, and that certainly is uh, one of our one of our goals. Um, to sit back and basically uh, not do anything is really not a responsible thing to do. If you look at, and we don't need to sit here and detail all of the specific needs where we will get that information back. But I do have to share with you, I was walking out of Best Deli the other day, just yesterday as a matter of fact, just to take your free. I'm going to have to take you with me so that you hear on the other side of the, uh, of the equation. Gentleman, Rouse resident, he knew he was here a long time, didn't recognize him, but he stopped and he said, you know what, if you got to raise my taxes and you keep doing what you're doing, just, it's okay. So I had a phone call in the office today. You know, so there are, I think that you need to understand that there are residents in this community that know what responsible government is, and they know what has been delivered to them by uh, this group that's here and the city staff with a significant amount of uh, positive um, uh, initiative and effort. And, and, and the, they know that. The majority of people out there, I do believe, recognize that. So, for all your three, I also had three. So we'll balance the table on that one, okay? <laughs> but again, that's it. it's, it's our responsibility here, obviously. 
to look at this whole issue and make the determination and the decision. It's, uh, you know, what, what, what is our responsibility here? 